welcome to the Transformation Debrief. I'm Chris Hood, a digital strategist at Google Cloud and your host. In each episode, we aim to stir visionary thinking and share unexpected insights on transformation initiatives and lessons learned along the way. Botify is an enterprise software company that delivers end-to-end -end SEO management solutions for both traffic and revenue growth. Founded in 2012, Botify customers include some of the largest retailers, publishers, and marketplaces in the world. On a monthly basis, Botify analyzes over 4.3 billion pages, 61 billion search engine requests, and almost 1 billion Google queries from over 150 countries. Today, I am joined by two incredible guests from Botify, Pierre Cousy, the Chief Technology Officer, and Robert Rothschild, the Chief Marketing Officer. So we like to start off these shows with one question to ask both of you. What was the most transformative role or decision in your career to date and why? So on my side, I switched from a purely individual contributor tech role to management when I joined Criteo and I had the opportunity to grow an engineering team from 120 to 650. So every single process had to be reinvented several times because you can't scale in the same way at those different sizes. And that has been the most transformative experience in my life, uh, professional life for the past 15 years. Probably the most transformative experience for me was while I was at SAP, we had acquired a smaller uh, enterprise class e-commerce company called, e, uh, called Hybris out of Munich, Germany smaller company at that time it was about 700 employees which is still bigger than botify but at the time i was going from 150,000 employees down to 700 employees and that was my first experience transitioning into a fast growth startup environment and um, that eventually led me to smartly which led me to botify and i'm never going back to the big tech again i'm sticking with the fast start growth companies again now you're talking about transformation and your primary products focus around SEO, search engine optimization. SEO in itself is transforming. So not only are we seeing transformation across multiple industries and everybody who's trying to build a website and get exposure in the ways that they need to maximize their own profits, now we are also seeing SEO itself transform. How are you looking at that at Botify? The biggest transformation that I'm seeing in the industry from an SEO perspective is the addition of the overlay of artificial intelligence and machine learning on top of the data, right? So uh, historically, um, most SEOs uh, invested a significant amount of time in, in sourcing data, analyzing what was happening on your website, and coming up with what is their overall search strategy. Right. How do how do I adapt the content that's on my website in order to improve the probability that consumers who, who are searching for something will come to my company versus my competitors? The combination of AI and machine learning has has really provided a tremendous uh, productivity enhancement for SEO overall. And I think the next piece of that is when you layer in automation. So. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, you st no matter how great your strategy may be, you're still dependent on people to actually execute those recommendations. But automation um, is about to introduce the capability to, um, to, to implement those changes automatically without relying upon human intervention. And that will just free up SEOs to focus on much more strategic activities. As soon as things become automated, you can do, redo, and do, try something else. So there's a huge path for exploration that was simply non-existent a few years ago. Automation brings you the ability to test. And that's when machine learning comes into play. Once you have that shiny tool with the ability to do what you want in a matter of hours, now you can apply more strategies and see what you get out of them. And to me, the big unlocker right now is automation. Uh, but again, my tech perspective on that one, I guess. On that optimization, and specifically with your customers, do you have stats? Like, for instance, 
you know, we, we look at transformation and for an organization that is trying to increase their profit margin online or in their digital presence, they're going through this process and you talk about automation and we've seen it with other Google customers, how automation can improve those cycles. But what's the stats that you see at Botify? Are you seeing rapid improvement? Are you seeing slow improvement over time? How are you using automation or maybe machine learning to increase that process for your customers? The first one is the evolution of what does a search engine see from your website, which looks like an obvious question and an easy one to solve. Turns out that when you actually look at the figures, you will discover that the largest websites get 25 to 30% coverage meaning that 70% of the website has not been visited before by a search engine, so it won't be found, period. So one of the KPIs we always have in mind for a big website is how much did we gain? What's the percentage of your website that's, not, that's now accessible from a normal search by a real human uh, compared to what it was a few months ago? And the second one is what's the what's the exact outcome of a change? Something that we did a year and a half ago was give customers the ability to gauge the impact of a change. And let's assume you get all of those tons of recommendations that you get from normal agencies, SEO people, everyone. You get a bunch of, this is what you should be doing. But before going to automation, there's an, an, an important factor, which is what's the expected gain? And the first thing that we got from machine learning was the expected gain of a specific change. So when we try to automate, we focus on the biggest gain and the two KPIs we have in the end are what's the total change we've seen and that's basically the efficiency of the process and the other one is what's the impact of a specific change. And those two KPIs drive how we basically chat internally about the product uh, because it gives us, one, a measure of success for the customer. Uh, being more visible means more landing clicks because you will have search results. And the second one is, how big is the improvement when you don't automate, when you are just at the beginning of this process, of this journey, we must guide you through the most Im impacting change. So these are the two angles I, I, I use on a daily basis when chatting with, uh, with Robert and, and, and the product. Spotify is 10 years old. And you've seen some transformation over the last 10 years. What are some stories that you can share with us in terms of how Botify might have looked at digital technologies 10 years ago versus today? One thing that I'm seeing significantly impact the way that we go to market today, however, versus 10 years ago, um, is the role that um, players like Google and the Google Cloud Platform play into this, um, in, into, into our business model as well. So in order for us to scale as a business, in order for us to enable our customers to scale to that significant volume and at that scale, we need to work with partners like you. Um, so uh, if I think about the relationship that we have, Botify and Google, uh, yes, we're a customer, but we're also a partner of yours. And collectively, uh, from a technology and a go-to-market business perspective, we both perform better when we work together, right? So I think that that's something that is unique in the last um, year or two um, that would not have been something that we would have considered 10 years ago when we started the company. I do have one final question for both of you. And that would be over the course of the next three years, what are your personal goals when you think about transformation? My personal goals for the next three years from a transformation perspective are the same that they've been the last three years and the three years before that, which is always to remain curious, to never assume that I know everything, and to constantly challenge the people around me to, to think the same way and to behave in the same way. My view for the upcoming three years is basically to push into one specific direction, which is machine learning was initially static analysis, basically. Now it's becoming real-time exploration. The next step I want to achieve is have it auto-tune on specific behaviors. And that's something that's doable within Botify. And that's exactly what I want to see happening and what I want to realize in the next few years. 
Well, thank you both so much for being with us today. Thank you, Pierre. Thanks a lot, Chris. That was super interesting. And thank you, Robert. Thanks, Chris. I really enjoyed that. If you would like to learn more about Botify, we have two channels for you to explore. At cloud.google.com slash transform, we dive deeper into this transformation journey, and you can tune into that digital show to hear the extended podcast version of this conversation. And don't forget to hit subscribe and join us again for more visionary thinking and lessons learned on the next episode of The Transformation Debrief.